Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Affection. If you guys are new to my channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. It will be highly appreciated. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys all of my settings for mouse and keyboard and for my controller. So for all my tryhards out there, these settings, you're going to love it. Uh, or even if you're trying to get better and kill other players, these settings will be perfect for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started on... The controller players or if you use controller on anything here you go this will be perfect for you so third person control type the reason why I use third person uh, control type for standard FPS 2 is simply because of the fact is that it's easier to run again that's the only reason it just makes everything a little easier uh, first person control type I use for standard FPS it's probably the smoothest uh, first person control type there is uh, so and it's just like playing Call of Duty so if you're a Call of Duty player Rainbow Six player uh, you know all about running with your left joystick so that's pretty much what that is so these settings they aren't too high uh, they're not too low it's about medium uh, the reason why this is so low is because it allows you to hit your sniper shots more accurately I don't know why this uh, this also messes with a third person camera, so you're going to want that low. I think it's your third person aiming too. So these settings aren't too bad at all for like if you're wanting to be quick but accurate. These are the perfect settings for that. Uh, dead zone, uh, you're going to want those depending on if you have controller uh, stick drift or not. You're going to want to leave these on, which my controllers don't have that stick drift or nothing like that. So I take those all the way off. And also, make sure this is toggled on. Allow movement when zoomed into your sniper scopes. Make sure you have that. So for my mouse and keyboard players, uh, wall input, I'm pretty sure that's a standard feature uh, that's automatically set. My mouse sensitivity, this is just standard sensitivity because it's not too fast, it's not too slow. My key bindings, uh, I just want to go ahead and say with the key bindings, you're either going to want a 60% keyboard or a, a MMO mouse that has a number pad 1 through 12, so it's easier for binding. So if y'all don't have that, uh, I would not recommend using any of these settings. So for my movements, they're the same. My combat, uh, this is pretty much all the same. My weapon select, this is what changed. Uh, these are the best settings for my mouse because I'm able to bind it to my mouse so if you don't have a mouse like mine or a 60% keyboard that's easy to reach the number pads uh, I wouldn't recommend using this so hey, that's pretty much all for that uh, so we're gonna go into the camera the so first, first person FOV so FOV just allows you to see I'm more in first person I would change it to show you guys but I don't have a arrow pad to do so so I can't change that. So for first person ragdoll, it just pretty much allows you to go into first person and save this car right here. I'm gonna try to get this car to hit. So this is first person ragdoll. Uh, up to you if you want it or not. On uh, honestly, it's kind of useless anymore because you can't use your way out. So uh, it's up to you if you just want to leave it on. Combat rule, first person combat rule. So the reason why you have this on is because if you turn it on, you're gonna roll in first person and you're gonna lose track of your targets. But if you have it off, you're able to easily see in third person, keep track of your target while you're trying to shoot at them and things. So that's why you wanna leave that off. So another thing that you wanna leave off is head, head bobbing, if I can speak correctly. Head bobbing. The reason why you want to leave this off is simply because of the fact is that whenever you're running, you don't want your camera shaking. Uh, that's the reason why that's off. So, first person, third person cover is on. The reason why you want that on is because, say I come over to this wall. Say there's a guy over there and you need to take cover. So, if you take cover, you can see directly behind that wall so this goes for everybody's the console players everybody just generally plays with you 
I would highly recommend using these just so you can see what's going on around you. This is the reason why you would want that third person cover on. So let's see what's else in that set except these three children. Uh, other than that, leave this the same. Don't even bother with it. Display. Uh, my favorite thing to use is simple. And make sure the simple radius size is small as it can go. And for my safe zone size, that just depends on your monitor or TV, whatever you're using. But that is it for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Peace.